today on Google Apps Script tutorial for beginner. And in this video, we are going to see how to record and play back the recorded macro on Google Apps Script. So if you're from Excel VBA background, then you would have a rough idea about how the Excel VBA macro work. And this Google Sheet is quite similar to Excel VBA macro. And it also has a two type, one is an absolute and relative. And we are going to see that very shortly now. So this is my data set, I'm having some rough data on the sheet one to record a macro go to tools macros and click on the record macro and here you will see two options as i told you earlier one is an absolute references and another one is a relative references so first let's see the absolute references so when you select the absolute references all the action that you are doing on the particular cell will be hard coded while generating the script for example if you're doing some action on f seven and when you execute the same or when you rerun the macro it will do the action on the f7 but when you select the relative references it will take your current active cell as a references and perform the action so first let me cancel this and let me go back to tools click on the macros and click on record macro have selected use absolute references and on D2, I'm selecting or entering a value D2. And here you can see action one set value. And here I'm going to enter a number one and again a set value. So equal to, I'm going to add a formula. So here you can see the action is set formula. Now I'm going to autofill till row 17 and the action is autofill. So now, once you're done with all your action, you have to click on the save and give a macro name. So this is um, absolute. So I will name this as absolute and this is a shortcut. You can give any number from one to zero. So if you click on the command shift and that particular number, the script will run. So it's completely optional. Now I'm, got, I'm not going to give any number. So first let's save this macro. And at the bottom left, you can see the macro got saved. Either you can click on the edit script or you can go back to tools and script editor. And here you will find a file name called macro.js. And this is where all your actions got recorded. So if let me undo all the actions I did. Now go back. To this macro.js and select the function abs which is already selected now I'm going to click on the run and you're going to see it's performing the same action that I did earlier this is how the absolute reference works now let's see how to make use of the relative references so let me undo all the steps I did now go back to tools and macros and click on the record macro and here you have to use relative references. So the mode is set to relative references. And uh, first, if you look at my active cell, it's F1. And from F1, I'm entering some value here. And I'm entering some value here. And I'm entering some values or dates here. And I'm autofill that right. So it all started from f1 and uh, i did it on e2 then i make some changes on the d3 then i autofill the date on c and uh, this macro is right now take all the actions by taking f1 as a relative references now go back to your now go back to this widget and click on save let's name this as a relative and click on save so macros successfully saved. Just need to reload the page to see the latest macro function. Go to macro.js and this is my relative function. So if you look at the script, you can see that in the absolute method, it hot coded the value t to c7 and everything, but in the relative, it didn't hot code any value. It just takes the offset method. So I'm selecting relative from the drop down and I will go here and keep the 
cursor somewhere on G21 and now I'm clicking on the run so it will take this G21 as a reference and perform all the actions that it got stored in the relative function. So this is a basic difference between absolute and relative function. It will be useful when you're doing some actions and you want to make it in a for loop or something or if you're doing uh, some logic so let's say uh, you're doing some borders you are adding a border or you are adding a color range so for that you no need to uh, go to google and search a script for that you can right away uh, do a recording and take the script and refactor that in your google apps script that is the huge advantage of recording macro option in google apps script and that's it for this video if you like this video give thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you